is the undisputed best player, and he usually wins all of these weeklies. He's just, he's a force to be reckoned with, and you're in for a treat right now if you've never seen him play before. But again, you can't play super exciting against DDD. I mean, because you don't want to mess around with those Gordos too much. Yeah. All right, charging up that little water gun there. All right, what do we got? Very nice damage coming up from Sorlando there. Definitely DDD obviously racks up damage much more quickly than Squirtle due to him having overall more attack power. The thing about Squirtle is he's got these like guaranteed 0 to 50 string. Well, not str guaranteed. But rather, he's got these very hard to get out of 0 to 50 strings that work on majority of the cast. Oh, that was a clean uh, neutral special cancel into forward air. All right, here we got the star of the show, oh. Ivysaur. I'm surprised the armor didn't kick in when he did that. I guess the up B is just that powerful. Oh. Right. That is, uh, that's Ivysaur for you. Yeah. What the kind of exchange was that? Going in for the up B, he tried to play aggressive. Very nice. Up air, just, I feel bad for me. Like, generally that stuff should armor, but no, he just can't armor through PT. Yeah, no, Ivysaur is just a very, very powerful character. I think what Zerleo needs to do is to just parry. Parry? Just into parry. Shifu Jinrai? Yeah, parry, no, into Shifu, parry into Shifu Jinrai. <laughs> you should totally do it. Uh, ABB moment 37 with King KDB. <laughs> Let's go. So um, Orlando can do it, I believe. Yeah, no, he of I mean, unlike a lot of the players here who go up against Zyro, he's not getting completely curb stopped right now. He actually taking the stock. Only at a 71% uh, disadvantage right now for Orlando, but because it's Charizard versus uh, DDD, this could potentially be... Uh... You can bring this back, even up the game a little bit. Yep. I just also realized this is really cool. Forward air. That's powerful. Killing DDD at 90. I know he's off stage, but still, like, it's DDD. It is DDD. Oh, here we go. Waiting for those combos, but oh. it looks like he didn't either... do it properly. He didn't do it properly, or maybe uh, Sir Lando's got some really sick aerial that's really fast. It's not just that, too. So I know I feel like was DIing it properly. Because Zyro wants you to hold out. That's he'll chase you down. So Lando was holding in, so now the combos were working. Alright, switching over to the sword. And what we got? The with? Oh, oh, did not DI it. A little surprised at that kill, not gonna lie. Now, that is Ivysaur's uh, up B right there. Yeah, it's, 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 Ivysaur is a very strong character, and he will not get nerfed. I mean, he did kind of get nerfed in that one update, but it really didn't do anything. Yep. Buff we f buff uh, Pokemon Trainer. <laughs> Fix Ken's Shoryuken. Buffalo Mac. No, you cannot rework Lil Mac. The, only, the closest thing you can rework to Lil Mac is like Aaron Ryan levels. Anyways, Zyro now uh, playing Meta Knight. Everyone's playing Meta Knight. Stoss and uh, Zyro playing Meta Knight. But Zyro has been playing Meta Knight back in the Smash 4 days. Yeah, exactly. That's the prime difference between them two. Stoss, this is like her first day playing uh, uh, good old Meta Knight. You know, I was watching Zero's uh, Subspace Emissary series. And it made me feel super nostalgic, honestly. I loved Brawl. I loved Meta Knight Brawl. Good. More? I just almost More? realized that... Um, I, okay, okay. I'm sorry, but I honestly thought Zyro was going to uh, SD there. Because knowing uh, Zyro, he is infamous for his SDs. He is, but Meta Knight has one of the best recoveries in the game. So, oh gosh, look at this. Here we go. Damage climbing. Also, um, I didn't comment on it before, but I like how he simply called out DDD's up B with a forward smash like that. Yeah. That was some really cool stuff right there. That's really good. What do we got? He Just tried running to get to I think he tried to do something. I think he tried to condition Sorlando. Oh god. Here we got the up air string. I thought Sorlando. we were about to see a ladder. It's possible we could still see a ladder. Oh. Man. oh. Went for a forward air. Oh, he tried to do a hard move from Force Smash, but Meta Knight's got that sick upbeat. recovery. That would have been hilarious if you just upbeat him off the top right there. Still waiting for that upbeat. Uh, Alright, up air. Oh, he tried. He tried. This could be Jeff. So Orlando going for the down smash. He scared me there for a minute, actually. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to punish, but no, he was just being patient. Because, like, Meta Knight has pretty solid aerial drift, so he's like, alright, 
I'm gonna see which way he lands. And so instead oh. of charging forward smash, he just threw it a dust. That was actually smartest for Orlando to do a fastball into a uh, fastball into a beat. I can't words. This is a regrab, unfortunately. So Orlando, oh, the SD from Orlando. Yeah. You, you know what though? Um, in the situation that he was in, I don't think he would have been able to survive because. Doesn't Zaro have the tools to, uh, oh, he's, go he's gonna clobber! He's gonna clobber! Oh. I don't know if Mennonite's aerials are strong enough to break through uh, DDD's up the armor, though. That's the thing. Really? I don't think so. Oh, oh my God. gosh, that was, that was deadly. I'm actually wondering if I don't have the bracket on. Yeah, we should uh, pull that up.